The quickest way to the ocean is through the West Gate. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anna520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got our sword upgraded to the final... Uh, power. It's now the Gilded Sword. In fact, I can pull over here and show it. The icon for it is a little goofy, but it does look pretty cool. There's some people who claim that the Razor Sword looks better. But, uh, we also reset time because we were on the last day. Um, as you can tell, um, this tiny pooch is actually afraid of our Goron form. Anyway, uh, so... In this episode, we are stuck. Oh, whoop, whoop. Hold up. We need to play the inverted song of time so we have more time to work with. Slow the current flow of time. Now. Before we go anywhere, we're going to need one thing. We're going to need to come up here. Get rid of the mask. Jump over here. Jump here. Jump here. Jump all the way up here behind the Octorok shooting gallery from the town and open this chest to grab this rupee stash and then we're going to go back across to West Clock Town grab ourselves a powder keg now to buy a powder keg you need to be a Goron. And you need to speak to this Goron right here. Oh, of all places. You're a Goron, so you should be able to carry a powder keg, right? So won't you buy a powder keg for 50 rupees? How about it? Yep, we'll buy one. Got a powder keg. Press C to light it, and then tap C to place it. Be careful, its sheer power and size are immense. Hmm. Powder kegs made by my instructor are extremely powerful. Come back and see me if you run out. And like we learned in the last episode, you can only carry one powder keg at a time. But now we are going to head out to... Milk Road. Whoops. So, normally, the powder, or uh, the boulder out here will take several days in order to be removed by this individual with the, uh, the pickaxe. But, if we pull out a powder keg... Also, please note the fuse is so much shorter on this. powder keg will blow up the boulder. Hey, as long as it's open to traffic, it's fine. This guy was hired to do this, but we kind of usurped his uh, job. But, we're now here on Romani Ranch on the first day. And we can see... Look! Isn't that your horse? Yes, this is our horse. This is Epona. But we can see that Romani is a bit livelier. Also, there's a roof on the barn. 
And if we go inside the barn, well, there's usually cows in here. The cows are out in the field right now. But anyway. Hey, who are you? I'm Hermani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? Uh, my name's Link. Link? That's a nice name, but... How about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes and you patter about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. They... They come at night, every year when the carnival approaches. They come riding in a bright, shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then, they come to the barn. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? Yeah. <laughs> Great! Now that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay then, I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn and approach it slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. There are ten ghost-shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you take over two minutes, you're out. The current record is one minute. Are you ready? Alright, we gotta destroy these ten balloons in under two minutes. We don't need to set a new record, but we can't take too long. There. Woo! I missed that one. This is essentially the uh, Poe thing. Take two. There we go. I don't think I've ever gotten in under a minute on this nonsense. It's not like you need to. You just need to take less than two. I swear. There. Just gonna deal with that one. And then there's two more. One's over there. And then the last one is right there by the entrance. Okay, you're done. One minute eighteen, oh three. That's great. You two work perfectly together. I'll teach you Romani's horse calling song to you, Grapho I'll teach Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now you two keep getting along and go practice some more. familiar with this song. It is Epona's song. The song of two who are bound by trust. When your arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get in the barn, we lose. They run away at first light of the sun, so we'll have to keep fending them off until then. Did you get that? Yeah. The operation starts tonight at 2. I'll be waiting in the barn. Don't be late. You've taken on the job of nighttime assistant. This was added to your notebook. 
So we could go off and take Epona and go do what we need to do. But we've made a promise to Romani and there is a reward in it for us. There's actually two rewards in it for us. So right now, what we're going to do is while we wait for 2 a.m. is, oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, here's the cows and there's Crimea. Hello? Hello? Oh my, did you come from town? Yes. Then that means Milk Road is open to traffic. Good, I can deliver milk to town now. Welcome to Romani Ranch, Chateau Romani's village. Enjoy yourself. Well then. Chateau Romani, that's the second time we've heard of this. It's a special kind of milk. So, one thing we can do while we wait for time is come through here and have a speak with the Gorman brothers. Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. Ain't that right, little brother? Do you think a horse that pathetic would gallop if you pressed control stick forward? Or would it run faster if you pressed A? This guy's funny. Why don't you give us 10 rupees for the chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. What do you do? Okay, we'll race. It's a simple race. Just go once around the track. If you can beat us to the finish line, you win. <laughs> you ready? So this is the Ingo race, times two. Honestly, what you really need to do is get in front and stay in front. And watch out for the trees. Hug the inside wall. Now they're going to go out and around that, but you can jump the fences here. And save a lot of time that way. Now the thing here is that you want to jump this fence and this fence, but go... Whoa! Okay, never mind. You can jump that last fence. <laughs> it's extremely tight though, holy crap. I can't believe we lost! Big bro, I wonder if we can give that to this guy. We gotta give him something. Well, he's a kid, so what could he do with it? It should be fine. For beating the Gorman brothers, we get the Garo's Mask. The wandering ninja spirits who appeared at Kano once wore this. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. You rubbed the Gorman brothers' noses in it. This was added to your notebook. That's hilarious. Anyway. So, the, uh... Oh, God, they're back. All the, um... Excuse me. All the, uh... Walkthroughs that I've read concerning the, uh... The race there. I've been told to avoid that last fence because it's too high to jump. Well, uh huh. I managed to jump it. Anyway, during the day out here at this area, you will see real bomb chews running around. Don't run into them because they'll run into you. You are, however, completely immune while riding Epona. Now, rather than doing anything else, we're going to come over here. Wait for that to blow up on me. There we go. We're going to be coming back here at some point later. 
But we want to come up here. This is Ikana Graveyard. And here is Dompe. He... Oh my goodness. Um, this is a side effect of the song, of an, in the inverted song of time. He's not normally running, walking this about slow. I am Dompe, the gravekeeper, who all watches over this graveyard. My face is frightening, but I am not a bad person. All the graves here belong to the family members of the King of Ikana Castle, a place that lies beyond the mountains. Even nowadays, the ghosts come out at night. It is a frightening graveyard. Hmm. So I guess, I guess he doesn't get put in our book. So we come up here to this wall. And there's more of these. These are just normal bushes, no, not the dancing ones. And that's an interesting thing going on there. Um, oh, there's a... There's a hole here? Interesting. I did not realize there was a hole here. Well, let's see what's down the hole. There's a chest. Bomb chew? Neat. But anyway, what we're actually here for is this rather large stall child. Hmm. Interesting. What's this say? Ye who awaken me, battle me. Then shall I extinguish the Fury's flame. Awaken, huh? Mm, what is it? Nope. Sonata of Awakening. It will awaken this massive stall child, who will begin walking off up the hill. And we must give chase. But every time we reach one of these barriers, a fire will start. And two stall children will spawn. Oh, and touching that barrier will send you backwards. So don't do that. Uh, I believe you can. Hit him with arrows. There we go. Which will cause him to stop and look around. Hit him with an arrow again. And once you actually hit him... Then the fight starts. Ouch. At a certain point, he might jump in the air, like that, and he'll ground pound. I hit him enough times. Wait! It is my loss! Sheath your weapon. I commanded the Ikana army of Ikana Kingdom atop the hill. I am called Skullkeeta. Since being shamed by loss in a battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Young swordsman who has awakened and deftly defeated me, I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask the, you to take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flame, and convey my words to my men, who, even in death, remain loyal to me. Tell them the war has ended. 
Then I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep. Captain, sir! May I take leave, sir? Yes, sir. And with Skull Key to defeated, the flames around this chest extinguish, allowing us to now open it. There's two ways to get to this chest. Currently, we only have access to one because we are missing an item. So, using the bunny hood, you can jump across this broken pathway. And within this chest, we will find the captain's hat. Where would see? The ghosts of a hundred soldiers swear allegiance to this symbol of authority. Yet another mask to add to our collection. So, what this mask does is it renders us immune to the forces of the stall. Or as they are in this game. What the heck? You again. The Excuse me. Just being bad bats. It allows us to command the Ikana forces. That thing is still here. So, since we're here. We are going to make it night. There's another stink bug in my room. Yes. Can you stop it? Night of the first day, 60 hours remain. Once a night, you will find a grave being surrounded by three stall children. You can speak to them while wearing the captain's hat. Huh? Ah! Captain, sir! Excuse me, sir! Everyone, give the captain your attention! We haven't seen you in some time, captain, sir. As per your orders, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. We have all been expecting your next order, sir. What shall we do? Open the grave. Uh, open it? Yes, sir. Everyone, follow me. And using these stall children, we're able to break open one grave a night. It's a different grave every night. Beneath the graveyard, we can now come through here. Grab a heart. Grab some arrows. Look at all the bats! Oh, they're spawning. Okay, well we can put an end to that, I guess. Light these torches up. With these three torches lit, this door now opens, and within we find the only dark nut in the game. Fought exactly the same way as we fought them in. Ouch. Ocarina of Time. Five jump slashes takes him out. And raises this curtain. A 
Are you the one who freed my soul? I serve the Ikana royal family. I am the composer called Flat. The songs connected to the royal family that remain here were all composed by my brother and I. Oh, shark, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. You who do not fear the dead, learn well the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. A thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song and my tears. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. I have made my request. We had a chance to meet, <clears throat> excuse me, sharp and flat, in Ocarina of Time. They are on the two graves flanking the royal tomb. The thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song are my tears. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. Here is written the song that shall cleanse his cursed black soul. Song of Storms. This melody that you've heard before is the turbulent tune that blows curses away. So this song actually gives us something else. Around... Whoa! Okay, that's a lot of bad bats. Let's... Wait a minute. Is there... Hold on. Is there a hole here? The, the floor is rumbling. I'm not sure why. Let me drop that real quick. I destroy a couple of bats. No, I guess not. Let's just get away from those. Especially since I'm about to, you know, kick the bucket. Anyway. It's still early. Take off our mask. One thing that we need to do... Oh, okay. This is what I was talking about. These blue bubbles... These blue bubbles that exist in Ikana Canyon at night, they have the ability to curse you. While you are cursed, it's the exact same thing that happens with bubbles in Zelda 1. You cannot draw your sword so long as you are cursed. Normally, you would have to wait for the curse to wear off. But... If you have the Song of Storms, you can play it and remove the curse that way. So while I'm here, one thing I'm going to do is I think I have the ability to do this. Uh, yeah, we'll return the flow, flow of time to normal. And we're going to wait... And stop Sakon again. Or Sakon. Or however you pronounce his name. But it's probably going to have to wait until next time because I'm almost out of time. I'm going to investigate if I am, can actually do this. I mean, it doesn't hurt to do it. You know, saving a nice old woman. But if I can actually get the thing that is tied to this, that would be even better. So, while I stand here waiting, I will say next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to head back to Romani Ranch and help Romani fend off them. This is NFI20, signing out.